again, soles of your feet together, knees out wide, starting to move down on your backs. I'll go ahead and ring the gong to start practice. direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from the washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have. Allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. <clears throat> Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over your right shoulder and breathe. Again, we're on our bolsters. If you have a bolster, 
This is a deeper stretch. Again, opening up those right obliques as you do, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale back to center. And then exhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this simple twist, opening up those left obliques as you do. And smile again. It's Tuesday. It's a gorgeous day out today. Galen is home safe. <laughs> there are lots of things to be thankful for. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, <clears throat> as you roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Breathing in and out. Then using the strength of your arms, come up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Scooch back on your bolster, flex your feet, sit up straight. <clears throat> Again, inhale both arms all the way up. Inhaling gratitude as you do, and then exhale as you open up to the right, east and west. Drag your shoulders back and down. Open your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Then exhale as you drag that left elbow down. Right arm goes up. Again, we're in twisted dandasana, dragging those shoulders back and down as much as you can. You can either be here, you can place that elbow in between your knees, you can place it on the outside of your left knee if you'd like to. And you can feel those right obliques opening as you do this. Releasing toxins. to the side wall through the breath. Drag that right elbow down on the outside of your left knee. That left arm comes up. Maybe make mudras with both sets of fingers. Again, opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Opening up those left obliques. And smile. Namaste. 
slowly inhale back to center. Exhale as you reach, 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 flat back. Hinge at the hips. Again, as far as you can, place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale halfway up. And exhale down, chin to shin. And again, if this is in your practice, you can also place a block in between your calves, place your forehead on it, or possibly place your blanket or your bolster on your thighs. Wherever you are is perfect. In Dandasana, staff pose. Breathing in and out. Again, if this is something that you'd like to do, maybe grab onto your toes, drag your chin down towards your, uh, your calves, pulling yourselves in even closer. But wherever you are, it's perfect. in positions. We're here for three minutes, allowing the fascia to open through the breath. Dandasana slows our heart rates down as it's a forward fold. Again, breathing in and out. Relax. Uh, Adix is working at Harvard until tomorrow. And it was interesting because we had someone join from the School of Public Health, the uh, JT Chan, I'm not sure, School of Public Health at Harvard today. And so I asked her if she had met her um, while she was there, which would be interesting. I don't know. heel in, flex that right foot, sit up straight, inhale, 
Inhale, both arms all the way up. And exhale, reach, 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 reach. As far as you can with a flat back. Shin to shin. And then just curl in. Again, we're in half dandasana. Breathing in and out as we do. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that right knee to your left knee, twist to the back of the room. Inhale first, sit up straight, and then exhale as you walk your hands forward, drawing that right cheek to the block if this is in your practice. Again, you can also have your left cheek on the block, maybe switch halfway through, we're in a full body twist, twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks as we do. Yeah. 
Let's slowly inhale as we walk those hands back again. <clears throat> Exhale as you extend your legs in front of you. Shake it out again, sitting up on that bolster. If this is in your practice. Inhale both our oh. Inhale first, excuse me. Exhale as you bend that right knee, dragging your right heel in, flexing that left foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. All the way down to the shin. And then just curl in. Two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that left knee to your right knee, twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of the mat. Inhale first, or the bolster, excuse me. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk those hands forward. Placing that left cheek on the block. Breathing in and out. Again, twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks as we do. Ooh. 
slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs below you. Shake it out. Good job. Come up to the tops of your mats in Sukhasana, simple seated pose. And again. your bolster in front of you so your blanket maybe have it handy since we'll be moving forward good job drag, drag those shoulders back and down inhale that right knee up and exhale as you place it on the inside of your left foot or in deer pose again your hips are down on the mat, breathing in and out. Inhale, both arms all the way up. And exhale as you reach, 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 as far as you can. Fingertips come down, hearts come down, maybe your third eye comes down. In humbly bowing to your pose, Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you lift your knee and draw your right foot on top of your left thigh. Again, we're in a half lotus position. Inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale down. Reach, 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 reach as far as you can. Fingertips come down, hearts come down. Maybe your third eye comes down, rocking it back and forth, opening up your intuition. In humbly bowing half lotus. And we're opening up our shoulders, opening up our hips, our lower backs, and our thighs as we do. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk your hands to the right, grabbing onto your left, our right knee with your left hand. Bring that right hand back or possibly rock forward and take a bind again. Shoulders are back and down, opening our hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release that right foot. Inhale, that left knee up, 
exhale as you place it on the inside of your knee, on the inside of that right foot. Again, into your pose. Again, both of your sit bones are on the mat. Inhale, both arms all the way up. And exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. Fingertips come down, hearts come down, third eye comes down. Again, opening up your hips, your thighs, your lower back, your shoulders. Breathing in and out, in humbly bowing to your pose. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that left foot onto your right thigh. Again, you can also place your foot out in front of that right foot. <clears throat> We're in half lotus. Shoulders are back and down. Inhale, both arms all the way up. And exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. Fingertips come down, hearts come down, third eye comes down, maybe rocking it back and forth. Opening up your intuition as you do. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the left, grabbing onto your left knee with your right hand. Bring that left hand back, drag your shoulders back and down, open your hearts to the sidewall through the breath. Possibly rock forward and take a bind. If this is in your practice, inbound, have lotus. Wherever you are is perfect. Good job. 
Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release that left foot. And then again, let's go ahead and place our hands on our shoulders and get energized with Kundalini, Kundalini breathing. We're going to inhale as we turn to the right, opening our shoulders to the side wall. And exhale through our mouths as we turn to the left. Again, opening our hearts to the side wall. Inhale. more for good measure. Good job. Again, um, opening up our hearts, being ready to receive. Let's do one more thing. Inhale those arms all the way up, inhaling gratitude. And exhale as you drag those hands to Anjali Mudra, releasing whatever does not serve you. Inhale all the way up. And exhale down to Anjali Mudra. Again, release whatever does not serve you. One more time. Inhale all the way up. And exhale down. Before we move down on our backs, let's go ahead and roll up into the table. We're going to do cat-cow three times, opening up our spines. Once again, opening up our hearts. Inhale as you drag your hearts down towards the mat. Look up towards your third eye. Again, in cow. Exhale as you bend those elbows, as you transition, gazing at your navels, lifting <clears throat> your spines upward as much as possible in cat. Inhale, the cow. Again, drag those spines down, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale. To cat again, drag your spines upward, gaze at your navels. One more time, inhale. To cow. And exhale. To cat. Good job. Come back to a flat back. Roll over onto one of your hips. And then slide your legs forward. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. Make sure your block is handy. Arms are out on either side. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebra by vertebra. Down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a compassionate hug. Again, good work. Rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Then place your heels on the mat. Inhale those hips up, placing your block underneath your sacrum on the highest second or third levels. Again, in a supported bridge. You can stay here. You can also walk those feet forward. If this is in your practice, maybe draw your arms overhead. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, in a T formation or a mushroom formation if you're here or simply in a supported bridge. Draw those arms back overhead, walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up, release the block, place it on the lowest level. Exhale first, 
Inhale as you extend your legs above you. Again, we're in a supported leg straight up, allowing the circulation to come back down to our vital organs, back down to our brains. Inhale first, exhale as you bend your knees, placing your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up, releasing the block, and exhale down, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Place your feet as wide as the mat, arms are out east and west, inhale first. Exhale down to the left. Again, maybe placing that left foot on top of your right thigh. Look off to the right. Again, in windshield wipers. Breathing in and out. Slowly release that left foot, inhale those knees back to center, and exhale down to the right. Place that right foot on top of your left thigh, look off to the left, again in windshield wipers, if this is in your practice, and smile. Slowly release that right foot. Inhale back to center, draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads. Just Relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths.
Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position. Facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you everyone. I'm going to go ahead and ring the gong. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.